So we're using a John Deere 1025R with an ideal 48 inch tiller on the back. And so any subcompact tractor, you know, your 20 to 25 horsepower range are typically what you're gonna see using a 48 inch tiller, about the same width as the tractor, but all your Kubota BX series, your Massey subcompacts, Coyote, New Holland LS, you're basically gonna run a 48 inch tiller. A 60 inch is just too large. So this is breaking new ground here. And so we're gonna go over this multiple passes because we're gonna go down and back uh, for the first handful of passes and, and show you what that looks like. And then at the very last pass, we're gonna go down, back, down, back. So for four total passes, show you the difference. It's breaking up, chopping up all the sod, all the grass, all the roots that are up on top. A few rocks here and there that you're gonna see. But in subsequent years, once you have that sod broken up, you're not gonna have to go over it nearly as often to have really great and consistent results. But in the beginning, if you're putting in a brand new garden or a brand new food plot, you're probably gonna have to spend a little bit more time that first year getting everything established.